Okay, so Elon Musk has been taking a lot of L's recently, and I'm sort of getting tired of talking about him, but uh, this might be it, because it seems like even he has had enough of all of the drama surrounding uh, his takeover of Twitter. First, there was the, the Dave Chappelle booing incident that happened, was it only just a week ago now? Yeah, it seems like so long ago. So that forced him to like come to terms with the fact that he faces a lot of uh, criticism and uh, is very unpopular in with large swaths of the population, right? Like it's easy enough to say like, oh, everyone who is uh, criticizing me on Twitter is a bot or a troll or whatever. It's easy to dismiss online harassment, but like when it's in real life, you're being booed by thousands of people in an arena, then it's sort of like, it's sort of different. And you saw he was nervous, right, on stage. He was he was just wandering around, not saying anything, like uh, just just taking it all in. And then, uh, and the one time he actually made an attempt at humor, he tried to do the "I'm rich, bitch" line from one of Dave Chappelle's shows, and he totally butchers it. And like. Even his body language is like, oh, oh, so people don't like me? Oh, okay, well, uh, okay then. Oh, well, I, I don't really care. Mm, well, people think I'm cringe and unfunny and uh, mm, don't like me? Mm, well, not my problem. This is whatever. But yeah, he clearly, he clearly was very irked by, by <laughs> that whole incident. And then following that, that's when he begun to snap, right? And then like the stalking incident which is bad right but it seems like his accounts of the what happened were might not have been to totally accurate because uh, he banned a lot of uh, journalists who were talking about it which is very sus but if it did happen the way he said it did then that's bad and but he used it as an excuse to you know Crack down on Twitter accounts he didn't like, and then cracking down on those reporting on the crackdown, and then cracking down on those reporting on the the accounts that were suspended for talking about the story, right? And saying that, like, you know, the LAPD says that there was not a crime report uh, filed with them, which you would think would be the case if there was actually you know, a crime being committed. Anyways, then the Twitter spaces happened. He hopped on a Twitter space call with a bunch of uh, journalists who he banned or offended, and then he faced like the slightest pushback and then he just hopped off and then just nuked Twitter spaces and now made it so that like certain people are banned from using Twitter spaces even though they had their accounts reinstated, right? It's sort of like a backhand uh, kind of way of saying like, "Hey, fuck you!" Even though I can't, I can't suspend you without facing all this uh, public backlash. You're still gonna, you're still gonna face some consequences because I don't like you. Um. Anyways, that's just a quick recap of what happens. So, it seems like Elon is tired of all the drama because new polls came out. Should I step down as head of Twitter? I will abide by the results of this poll. Oh, well, it's good of you to say that. It's good of Elon to say, uh, this poll is for real. I'm not going to stop the steal. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stop the count. I'm not gonna start a new poll. And if he sticks by his word, pretty big deal because with nine hours left, I think it started uh, three hours or so ago with Seven and a half million votes. By now, it's probably that much. 57.2% say, yes, you should step down as Twitter, Elon. So, yeah, this is a pretty big deal. Big news. And the replies are just... 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 Everyone just dunking on... First of all, there's Shu on head saying, give it to me, Elon. I'm very normal and can be trusted. Okay, well, at least Shu acknowledges how problematic she is. Unless she's not being sarcastic here. <laughs> I don't know, because you you show that you want to improve. Oh, yeah, he's, uh... 
he's uh very improving. Yeah. He's really into improving Twitter. Yeah, all all of the uh the things that he's implemented have not totally flopped immediately. I say sarcastically. Um Yeah, like the whole Twitter blue thing. Oh, now I've seen a few Twitter accounts with like a yellow check mark if they're like a journalist or something. Sometimes the blue check mark says this account is a legacy verified account and may or may not be notable, which means I guess they are verified but they didn't pay for Twitter blue, I guess. Anyways, own your mistakes. Elon is not good at owning his mistakes. I mean, he hasn't uh, admitted that to any wrongdoing as of yet. This is sort of a tacit uh, admission of uh, not handling things as well as he could have, but uh, he still has not acknowledged that, you know, he, he lied about the journalists uh, doxing him so that he can have an excuse to, uh, to suspend their accounts. Because, you know, Seems like he uh, just doesn't like uh, those certain accounts, like Donnie O'Sullivan. Like, mostly unoffensive guy, but I guess he works for CNN, right? This is the most insecure tweet any of us will ever live to see. Yeah, this is, like, next level. Like, Elon keeps asking people. He keeps putting out Twitter, Twitter polls, like, do you like me? Yes or no? Like... He's like always searching for valid- oh, right. Here it is. Do you like me? Circle one. Yes or no? Yeah, I think I saw this one before. Elon Musk says he plans to find a new leader for Twitter. I mean... I mean, that's good because, uh... Is he dressed as a uh, god of war? Ragnarok? Yeah, he's, uh... He's a gamer. For sure. The big gamer. That's what he's doing instead of, uh... Well, he's a tweeter, first of all, right? Yeah, he's a tweeter first, gamer second, and then, uh, CEO third. Well, he's the CEO of at least three companies. There's Twitter, and then Tesla and SpaceX. Now, Tesla is not doing great, you know? There has been a lot of scrutiny on about, like, the quality of Tesla cars. Some say that the cars uh, spontaneously combust. Some say that the autopilot uh, <laughs> does some very dangerous things and should not be trusted. Right? And Tesla stock dipped, and that is the reason for Elon no longer being the world's richest person. He is now only the second richest after Bernard Arnault. The French uh, luxury brand owner. So that means um, it's just another example of like rich people's wealth is so tied up in like speculative assets that it really doesn't mean anything to say like this person is the richest person. It means if if anything, it means like they got lucky purchasing like the right stocks, the right stonks. Their stonk game is on point. I spent my entire life following the Mets, and this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. Yeah, this is, uh, pretty pathetic. Like, if you're gonna step down, just, uh, just do it. Like, like, why are you asking, why are you asking Twitter if you should step down or not? That should be a decision left up to you. Like, why are you letting, like, mob rule decide this, right? And of course, he probably knows what the result is gonna be, right? Because of all the criticism he's faced, and he knows, on some level, he has to know like how unpopular he is, right? So Elon has like tried to cultivate this image of being like this uh, genius uh, tech bro entrepreneur, and a lot of people could tell it was bullshit because he talked about like really like superficial, surface level stuff, like uh, like the science uh, stuff he talks about is like. Uh, what science fiction writers have been like writing about for the past like two decades at least like ai uh colonizing other planets etc right 
electric cars. So, a lot of people, like, could tell that it was bullshit, but, like, enough people bought into it that it could, he could still, like, he could still maintain that image. He, he is very Trump-like in a lot of ways, because just like Trump, uh, what he is good at is branding. The, be the thing he is actually good at that makes him so successful is his public image. He sells his public image more than anything. And once he actually like gets in over his head, once he, he starts believing his own propaganda, and he, he bites off more than he can chew, and then he can't actually... He thinks that he can actually get all this stuff done, but when he actually tries to do something, he realizes, oh shit, I'm actually kind of a dumbass. At least when it comes to this part. So... So then the whole image starts crumbling down. So... So yeah, while Elon has been taking all these all these L's running Twitter, Tesla took a really big fat L, uh, took a really steep drop in price while like the rest of the stock market was doing okay, right? Now even a lot of uh, Tesla shareholders and board members are questioning whether they really want Elon at the helm, right? Because Elon is just tweeting all day. He's tweeting all day about Twitter, which he bought. He's clearly focusing on Twitter. And so what is he what is he doing as CEO of Tesla or SpaceX for that matter? What was he doing even before he bought Twitter? Like he was still like just fucking tweeting all day. Like tweeting old stale ass boomer memes. So this could be like him realizing that he has to focus on Tesla. Because I that Tesla is the one thing that he has that is like actually kind of successful, right? Tesla is still a sham, right? It's still like his cars are like plagued with problems. And now people are saying that he's alienated all the liberals who want to buy Teslas. He's appealed to the conservative crowd through all of his like antics recently, but like it's the liberals who actually buy Teslas. It's the liberals who actually are concerned about the environment and sustainability and want to buy electric cars. But now it seems like liberals are gonna buy electric cars from some other uh, company, some actual legit car companies that uh, are not producing electric cars. And some of them look pretty good. So yeah, there are some questions as to how much uh, Elon stepping down as CEO of Twitter will actually change things because Elon is still going to own Twitter. He's just going to find someone on to take on the day-to-day -day operations, but still have a say in everything. So the yes vote is meaningless. Well, yes, being the majority shareholder will essentially mean that he that he has the final say in things. But like. He can, like, veto whoever he installs as the new CEO of Twitter. Right? If anything, it means that, like, he's giving it to someone who actually knows how to run it, right? Who actually, like... Someone, someone better than him, at least. He knows that he's in over his head, right? And this guy says, Elon can focus on Tesla if he gives up running Twitter. There's a far less chance of permanent brand risk at Tesla. Yeah, I I guess so. I mean, Tesla is still kind of a brand risk, but it's the one thing that he's got. Like I said, it's like Tesla does make cars. So say what you will about it. The cars do run on electricity and they're plagued with issues. The self-driving thing is not really is not really working and it probably never will libertarian party of new hampshire <laughs> he's down here he might he might be us for saying mean things about megan mccain yeah well megan is not very good at taking abuse you small excuse for a man you space karen main child leaders lead yes be a real leader. 
Yeah, I think, like, doing all these, like, sham Twitter polls is, like, putting up a front of, like, being so pro-democracy. You're just, you're just, like, following the voice of the people, Vox Populi, right? He, uh, quoted that when he, uh, in one of his first Twitter polls that he did. But, like, clearly he's very authoritarian, right? He has the final say in every anything. And he probably knows what the what the result of the Twitter poll is going to be. But maybe not when he, you know... He did a poll on whether he should ban unban journalists and everyone voted. You should unban them now. But, anyways. Who will be the, the successor? Who will be the one to pick up the mantle and carry the torch of of free speech into the future as as uh, the person that Elon chose to, to run it well there are many vying for the job now Elon says no one wants the job who can actually keep Twitter alive there is no successor so Elon is very pessimistic about the future of Twitter. Honestly, I'm not sure how Twitter was doing like before Elon bought it. Seems like Twitter, you know, gets most of its money from ads, which I rarely see ads on Twitter ever anyways. So it seems like the company was not very profitable. It's as profitable as any social media company. When you think about it, like, Twitter does not, like, gather your information the same way, like, Facebook or Instagram or or others do. So I'm not sure, like, where they get their money. Also, like, at least Reddit has stuff you can buy, right? Reddit has, like, uh, awards or, like, avatar uh, gimmicks. But, like, now that I think Elon, like, permanently ruined Twitter, right? Even like, even if Twitter goes back to normal now, like, I don't know what normal even is, because like, Twitter has always played with issues. I don't know if it's ever going to go back to where it was. Because like, people have like, been leaving Twitter for a while now. Going to other social media platforms, creating their own, creating their own like, Twitter clones, right? Just like uh, there were like right-wing Twitter clones after the 2020 election to make like safe spaces for conservatives. They're now like left-wing or other just whatever, like liberal spaces like uh, Mastodon or whatever. Well, some people, some Elon fans think that they are the ones who can save Twitter and bring it back to its former glory and even beyond. Elon, I want to do it and I can keep it alive. Not only that, grow it far beyond what it is now. I have a complex understand of alt tech, what Twitter needs and what creators need. I also have a dozen years running a marketing ad agency that represents Fortune 500 companies. And this is said by the quartering, the one and only. If you don't know who the quartering is, he is uh, a Gamergate guy. He is a he is a fat, gross, uh, neck bearded uh, guy who's a who's a big gamer, and he is very anti woke. So yeah, he knows exactly what Twitter needs. He th I don't know what. The quartering would do he would probably uh continue banning woke accounts right he would make twitter less woke he would be m more pro free speech he would unban all the worst people elon musk uh, uh unbanned a lot of very far right accounts that have been banned for years but he's not he did not ban unban alex jones he supported uh kanye being banned after he tweeted the the swastika inside the uh, Jewish star, which is very weird, right? 
So yeah, the quartering built his career saying anime titties weren't big enough and black people shouldn't be in video games or whatever, and is now begging Elon Musk to become the C new CEO of Twitter. Yeah, so... He's, he's still trying to keep the Gamergate shtick going. Like... It's been, what, eight years? When did Gamergate start? 2013 or something? He's been riding that wave ever since. Just like a lot of uh, conservative content creators who are stuck in the past, like a Sargon of Akkad or whatever, who peaked in that era and they're still trying to ride that wave. They're still trying to relive the glory days of owning the libs, right? They're still posting that... Uh, the meme of the the screaming liberal woman at the uh after trump got elected right and yeah basically they they their their main thing is complaining about women and minorities in video games and how video games have become woke so clearly very in touch with the needs of twitter and its uh creators and he has a, a complex understand of alt tech. Clearly, he does not have an understand of how the English language works. Unless, uh, he just did this to get in the, uh, the character limit. And I don't know what alt tech is. So, he may not have an understand of tech tech, like actual tech, but he is very well acquainted with uh, the technology that the alt-right uses, like uh, 4chan or Poll or... What do they use? Uh, is Kiwi Farm still around? Probably not. Yeah, I've heard that it's, uh, that it's gone for good now. I mean... Yeah, alt-tech. Alternative tech, alternative to mainstream tech. Yeah, maybe he wants Twitter to be more like 4chan, whatever that means. Yeah, because, like, mainstream tech is too woke. Right? Mainstream, like, liberal tech. Yeah, the woke... The woke Silicon Valley technology, right? cannot compete against the hyper-masculine uh, based tech that the quartering has in mind. Oh, he does have vast experience in tech. Here's him making a PSA from a now-deleted channel about how pedos should delete CP off their computers because they would search them for porn. Oh, wow. Oh, yep, here he is. On a customer's computer. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, wow, look at the frame rate on this. To be fair, uh, my camera sometimes does the the stuttering, but uh, look at this background. This is like, wait, what is this lamp? What is this? It's hanging on a chain that's like, like this, like, yeah, what is this background? Like, and look at, well, look at this, this get up. Like he's wearing a, a, a white button down shirt. And what is this tie? Like, this is, this is, yeah, average, uh, Average gamer gator, and this is uh, I think uh, this is the surfs TV, his Twitch chat, and his and his GG chat. For uh, the um, child pornography, for he deaf isn't sober. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised if uh, if this guy was a drunk. Apparently, he does have a wife and. Yeah, I feel I feel sorry. I feel for her. She must uh she must have settled. Variety. I, I don't really know if there's any tech way to put that. But um uh, the So yeah. Apparently, yeah, he he used to work at a computer repair shop and he he is warning pedos like, "Hey, if you have any CP, you better wipe that shit from your hard drive before you come in." For computer repairs because if it is there we or they will find it and they will have you arrested so just uh just uh letting you know that's uh yeah that's funny yeah the quartering is a pretty big loser in the world of content creation and, and he is like a lol cow right now and the fact that he thinks that he can run twitter is so funny i'm 
honestly, it would be funny to see him try, right? He would be like Elon, but worse, right? And then everyone would be like, who the hell is this guy? And then the whole world will know just what an idiot he is. Yep, he's a big, biggest loser in content creation. He also peed in his basement because he was mad at his wife. <laughs> so that is a little weird, yeah. That did happen, yeah, he's a, he's a wife guy. The bad one. He's, he's a boomer. In spirit, at least. He's the, I hate my wife kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, you can tell, uh, very much toxically masculine. What getting kicked out of magic does to a motherfucker, I guess. How how much of an asshole do you have to be to get kicked out of Magic the Gathering uh, clubs? That's just yikes. Quarter Pounder is privately seething at the fact that Elon and e IMC are in a reply gear relationship. Oh, I bet, yeah. The Quarter Pounder, which uh, is what a lot of people call him. Is, is vying for Elon's attention. Yeah, there are so many Elon simps who want to, like, suckle on, on the teat of of the elongated muskrat. <laughs> who, um... And Elon can only reply to so many people at once, so it's like... All these, like, smaller people are just, like, constantly reply-guying. Elon, and he'll never get his attention. It's kind of sad, actually, right? So in conclusion, yeah, Elon is finally stepping down because he just cannot take the constant uh, criticism. He just He's just too thin-skinned for the job. This is uh, just a few examples of what he, he did in his final days. In just the past few days, no other CEO of Twitter has ever suspended accounts solely for tweets he personally didn't like. He's in his own category of horribleness. Yeah, just like uh, just like Trump, actually. He, this is another way he's just like Trump. Both of them branded themselves as like anti-establishment figures, and that is true in a way, but they were worse than the establishment, right? Trump is an was like anti status quo and the status quo sucked but he was worse than the status quo right big big difference yeah it's like the the monkey's paw wish like i i wish for someone to take over who is anti-establishment and will shake things up and yeah well this is what you get you you got a guy who shook things up and he uh shook them in a very bad way so yeah this guy, who is like a regular like reporter or journalist, I'm not even sure if he's like left wing. Maybe he's like moderate left, like left of center slightly. He just tweets context. It's an NBC News article. I mean, NBC is like pretty, pretty moderate, pretty centrist, right? Not very partisan. Twitter suspends journalists who have been covering Musk and etc. And this tweet violated Twitter rules. Like, what Twitter rules did it violate exactly? Elon just didn't like this story being reported on because, like, it put him in a bad light. And then the same same guy. One reporter has obtained an opaque comment from a Twitter official. Without commenting to any specific accounts. I'll confirm that we will... Yeah. And these tweets violated and then Matt Bender didn't even tweet any didn't even tweet any words just tweeted that hmm emoji the thinking emoji the curious emoji uh retweeting Donnie O'Sullivan his tweet that he got banned for about the LAPD statement on the alleged Musk incident in, w in which he reveals that no police report has been filed regarding the incident this tweet violated Twitter rules, and this got him banned. And then this tweet violated Twitter rules. This is the guy, Jack Sweeney. Eat the Elon Jet guy. The guy running the, the account that uh, tracks Elon Jet's movements. Oh, and this is Donnie O'Sullivan again. It's just an interview with Jack Sweeney, the 20-year-old who ran Elon Jet, and talking with his grandma, too. Oh, sounds so, like, sweet, and, uh... 
wholesome, but now I guess we'll never get to see it, not on Twitter at least. So, yeah. And apparently, like, uh, the, the flight paths of, like, celebrity private jets or, like, any private jet is, like, pretty common because, like, private jets are incredibly wasteful and bad for the environment. Especially, like, if they're used to save a celebrity, like, I don't know, half an hour of uh, commute time when, like, they could have just driven and saved, like, a bunch of money and fuel and not released a bunch of, like, CO2 and, like, chemicals into the atmosphere, right? But Elon just couldn't take it. Elon had to say that it was doxing, right? Which it wasn't. So yeah, looking forward to seeing where Twitter goes from here. Hopefully, uh, whoever the new CEO of Twitter is will at least be a competent CEO. Like, like yeah, Elon may have been anti-establishment, but at least the establishment knows how to keep things going, kind of. like. Like, as bad as the Republican Party is, at least, like, they're better than Trump. Like, uh, in, in a way, like, they are better than Trump. I don't, I don't see any uh, pros for Trump over their, like, the so-called rhinos. Anyway, yep. Yeah, I guess we'll see in the coming days and weeks. I might just stop talking about Elon because it's just so like uh, I'm tired of it. It's like can he can he just go away already? Yeah, I guess we'll see. See you then.